Perspective, the news and commentary show with your host, Kit Nazareth. Today, Kit's guests are Hacker Germ and Pignola Hanswell. Now, your host, Kit Nazareth. Good day, and welcome to Perspectives, the news and commentary show. I'm Kit Bowser. Today and every day on Perspectives, we'll be examining the news that matters to you, the viewer. Our hallmark will be insightful commentary provided by me, Kit Bowser, and my panel of world-renowned journalists. Utilizing our superior intellects, we will help you better understand this complex world we all live in. Now, I'd like to introduce our panelists. On my right is Peanut Gallery Press Hopkinton Bureau Chief Packard A. Durham. Uh, thanks, Kit. On my left is PNN Hopkinton correspondent Pignella Hamswell. Hi, Kit. It's great to be here. Okay, let's get started. Topic number one, Kit Mauser. Who is this paragon of pontification? Well, it all started at a little 500-watt radio station in Pasadena, California. K-A-T-T. Yes, I love my days at Cat. I had a call-in show called Opinions with your host, Kit Mauser. It was tough but honest work. But I didn't achieve real fame till what I call the podcast years. My show, a news and commentary podcast, with your host, Kit Mauser, was the darling of the Web 2.0 phenom. Of course, I went on to win various awards, but everyone knows that. So what about the real Kit Mauser? What is he really like? Pack? Oh, uh, well, Kit, I don't really know. We just met for the first time a few minutes ago. Honestly, I'm not even sure why I'm here. My agent said it would be good for me to get out in front of the camera, but it's kind of scary. Well, Peck, that's very interesting. Let's try to stay on topic, and the topic is Kit Mauser. Pig, what do you think? Gee, Kit, I think you're just terrific. And those whiskers, who does your whiskers? I'm just wild about the whiskers. Thanks, Pig. I read somewhere that your real name was Buford Bumbleton and that you changed it when you got into show business. No, no, that's just a vicious rumor started by jealous mutts. What was that? Are you okay backstage? Oh, that's just Wilson, our stage manager. Wilson? Wilson? Sorry, Mr. Mauser, I tripped. Um, I'll go get the lights back on right away. I kind of like this. It's like romantic mood lighting. I like it better when the lights are on. Hmm, now this I really like. Wilson! Um, sorry, Mr. Mauser, um, my bad. I'll just go fix it again. Aww. Wilson! Well, that's much better. I see that it's time to move on. Topic number two, Pluto. Scientists recently demoted Pluto from full planetary status, calling it a dwarf planet. Worse yet, Pluto is one of three dwarf planets, the others being Ceres and Eris, neither of which anyone had ever heard of until very recently. As a result, millions of textbooks will have to be changed. Schools and libraries throughout the world will spend billions of dollars updating materials. Even astrologers will need to revise their charts. On the other hand, scientists argue that Pluto is a Kuiper Belt object and should never have been called a planet. To do so is misleading. Although Pluto has many planet characteristics, its gravitational field is too small to clear the area near its orbit. So, is this semantic silliness or categoric common sense? Back? Uh, well, I've never been to Pluto. Nobody has. Oh, well, I don't think it really changes anything. It's just a name. And a bad one at that. Who'd name a planet after a dog? I think the dog is named after the planet. Well, I think we should have some cat planets. How about Planet Felix? Or Planet Kit Mauser? I like Garfield. No, no! The dog was named after the planet, not the other way around. Oh, well, that's different. I don't think I'd like being named after a planet. Especially Uranus. No, that wouldn't be good. Well, to help us better understand this important issue, we are very pleased to have world-renowned astrophysicist Stephen Hawking on the phone. Hello, Dr. Hawking, and welcome to Perspectives. Hello, kid. It is great to be on your show, Perspectives. I would be happy to share my perspectives with your audience. Wonderful. So what do you make of the Pluto controversy? Is Pluto really just a Kuiper Belt object? Kuiper Schmiper. Everybody knows Pluto is a planet. But is it a dwarf planet? Oh, well, yes. Along with Sleepy, Sneezy, Duck, Grumpy, and the other ones. 
Dr. Hawking, this is Packard Durham. I've always been a great fan of your work. Can you please explain your theory of dark matter? Certainly. Dark matter is matter that has been carefully painted black. Wait a second, I don't think that's really Stephen Hawking. Wilson, is that you? No, Mr. Mauser. It is not me. Wilson, stop playing with my computer. Sorry, Mr. Mauser. Moving on.